Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Karan here and I'm bringing you tips for your university and they won't be as cliched, promise you that. The first tip that I would give you because I am in university right now as well and I understand it's the first time being in university and let me tell you this, school is way different than university. In school what happens is that if you if you get low in a quiz or something you can tell a teacher let's let's do the quiz again can we do it is there a re quiz well that's not gonna happen in university you get one shot and one shot only in um, you have to perform in midterms final exam and if you don't get good grades in that then that's your luck so how do you score more because at the end of the day, CGPA or GPA is what matters the most. Now, let me tell you my story. See, in NIT, what happens is the ways to succeed. And I've listed down a few tips that might help you. And uh, this applies to not only universities that are in, in India, but this applies to universities that are around the globe. Because the, at the end of the day, the techniques are the same. The way you applied it may be different, but the techniques and the main root idea, the notion is the same. So the first, if you have some branch, like let's say you're studying engineering, whatever engineering field you're studying in, make contact with the teachers and advisors about that particular field. So you have more knowledge and more power over that area. So in case if you need any help, and your friends aren't around, it's best to go to the advisor or the teacher for the help because they will help you. Second, you should always have an agenda and you should always follow it because what tends to happen in university is that you see many people living in dorm, okay? Then you have this mindset, even if you're a really smart person at your school or wherever you went, is that you go to, I'm going to go to university and I'm going to be dead serious about studies. But what happens at, at the end is that you see many people and you feel to enjoy. So what tends to happen is that you're distracted from what your initial target was. So I'm not saying you should not have fun. You should have fun. But at the same time, you should put the study list study list or whatever it may be in your agenda and you should always follow it okay it's there for a reason and you should not uh, decline it so third you should always show up on time I mean even the class is at 8 then you should show up at 8 there's no excuses I mean you want to stand out between tons of people in your class um, so in case if you need any help the teacher may be ready to help you because let me tell you this the teacher is very busy okay he does not have time to help every single person so if you stand out and I'm gonna tell you how you should stand out and um, but if you do uh, then the teacher may uh, sacrifice his time to help you out because this is not again, this is not school okay He's going to teach you if you don't understand, tough luck. You need to give the quiz or test, whatever it may be. So first thing, how do you stand out? Well, the way you stand out is you always go to the lectures, always on the right time. All right. And uh, you tend to sit in a place that the teacher can see you. OK, even if you don't get the place, let's say you're sitting at the back. OK, for 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 one day or something but you want to stand out on that day basically whenever the teacher is teaching about some particular subject what you do is ask questions ask questions to the teacher and whatever it may be even if they might even if you know the answers to that question just ask just communicate so the teacher recognize your face because let me tell you this the teacher is not gonna recognize your face in the class of 80 he does not remember would you remember if you're put in a class as a teacher and you have 80 people in front of you 
saying that uh, you you are our teacher, you won't even remember their faces. Like, did I even teach you? All right, ask questions. Okay, that's there. Again, get to know your instructor uh, instructors because whenever possible, you should know the, uh, about that particular course you're studying and this depends on first like for example in engineering first year it's always general so you have to even if you're electrical engineer you have to study mechanical engineering you have to study chemistry you have to study physics you have to study math and a very different economics uh environmental science and study humanities um, you have to study that uh so for every um for every subject or course i should say you have to know your instructor like it like the chances of getting help from them are less but it might help you i mean whatever it may be because the end goal is to get as high gpa or cgpa as you want all right now what's the point of getting to know instructors going to do all these classes well if you're struggling like i said then um, they they they're going to help you and you should always what you have to do this is the next step is that um, whenever something goes wrong don't panic because you always get maybe you have next exam there's two semester exams so well, first midterm second midterm then final end term so if you don't get good grades in first midterm don't panic just study for the second one because panic is not something that's going to help you and so yeah so avoid great panic it would be another and uh yeah i mean at the end of the day you what you have to do is not just study 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 you should have fun and also eat healthy you cannot just barge up all the snacks spend all your money because money matters too because you have some budget that your parents give you per month and if you spend it all then you're left with none nothing and therefore what you have to do is spend your money wisely eat whatever food you get if you get food in your hostel or the dorms that you're living in then what you have to do is like um, if you don't then you should probably be wise enough to like calculate whatever that is that you're buying can end till the entire month and you can still have some amount of money left in your saving because who knows you might need it at the end of the month for something that you just wanted because that happens and lastly have fun so never forget to have fun so hope you enjoyed it give it a like comment and subscribe if you haven't